This place looks a million times scarier at nighttime. I don't know if this is true, but we were told that there's like a hidden door somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. What? Is that for real? Am I seeing <gasps> this? Oh, what the hell? Sarji, welcome back to another video. It's currently seven o'clock in the morning. I'm in the middle of the jungle and I just stumbled upon this big abandoned mansion. I'm gonna go inside and explore it right now. It looks like it's got really beautiful views. I don't know if there's anybody here, but uh, what do you guys say we go do a quick walkthrough? I might keep this uncut to be honest, because I don't know what to expect. I'm, I'm here alone right now, so it makes it even more creepy and more spooky. Let's go and explore. Whoa, 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 hold up a sec. Upon stumbling onto this amazing abandoned mansion, I had no idea that this mansion would belong to a German pedophile that had ties to Jeffrey Epstein. The disgusting person that owned this property is now in jail for life for a long list of pedophilia charges as well as drug charges and child sex trafficking charges. As investigations were unfolding into Jeffrey Epstein, he too was part of the syndicate of child sex trafficking and was on the Interpol watch list. His final act of disgust is when he attempted to pay a local Dominican father money to sleep with a seven year old daughter, not knowing the father would have him set up and sent straight to jail. There's no information out there to which jail he's serving time in, but people say he was sent back to Germany where he will spend the rest of his days rotting in prison. Word is from locals that this mansion was funded by Jeffrey Epstein himself. Now, what do you guys say we go inside and explore his losses? All right, you guys, the adventure begins. Look at this. And if you haven't been following me on my vlog channel, make sure you follow me because I'm posting on that channel while I'm out here in the Dominican. I'm actually living at my beach house and I decided to go out and explore for you guys today. This is so cool. Look at this mansion. I seen this from the bottom of the hill as I'm out for a walk. Whoa. What the hell? This is like the coolest mansion ever. Look at this. Oh my God. Yo, check this out. Look at this. There's a giant pool right there. And there's this beautiful view. Holy moly. Unbelievable. There's the ocean down there. Way down there. You got the jungles all around you. This big swimming pool. That's a big ass pool. I haven't seen a pool that big in a long time. This is so cool. This right here was the driveway at one point. It's so overgrown and it's closed off as you guys can see. Um, the driveway actually has trees growing in it now. This used to be a, a, a place you can drive through all the way down that way. Through the gates over there you can see there's kind of ruins all the way over there. But check out like just the, the jungle theme of this place is really interesting. Let me show you guys the swimming pool up close before we go into the actual house. Um, I still haven't been in there make sure there's no snakes here oh, okay whoa look at this now this is a view wow we wow look at this there's a bar over here i haven't seen anything this nicely abandoned in a long time this, now this is my money shot right here ladies and gentlemen this is it whoa very slippery gotta be careful this is the money shot right here wow ho 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 this reminds me of like Pablo Escobar's mansion, not even joking. Guys, look at this view from over here. I'm standing on this concrete slab that I hope doesn't break, but look at that view. That is gorgeous. I still haven't explored the house. And uh, what do you guys say we go into the house? All right guys, gonna make my way into the house and explore it and see what's inside. Hopefully there's nobody in there waiting around. Look at the way the ceilings were done here. Blue ceilings. I, I wonder why it became abandoned. I have no information about this place. Like I said, I'm just walking through the jungle and I found this place. But it looks like it's got some type of graffiti, some type of drawings on it, some type of vandalism. It looks like they started building it and they gave up or 
it got smashed up and destroyed. Because I'm seeing other ruins here, unfinished ruins, as you guys can see. And they all have that same Middle Eastern theme to it. And now, obviously, we're not in the Middle East. We're in the Dominican Republic, one of my favorite places to go in the entire world. Wow, so beautiful. So they have these stairs here. I don't know if these are the only stairs that go upwards, but it's weird the way they twist and turn. They're not that big. For a big mansion like this, you'd expect bigger stairs. Let's go up over here. There's no bees. There's beehives everywhere. What the heck? There's like these fruits everywhere. Probably from the coconut trees. Oh my God, there's millions of them. And there's a coconut tree right there. And it is early in the morning. It's like 7 a.m. right now and I'm exploring out here for you guys, giving you guys entertainment. So smash the hell out of that like button. Get yourself that new Ghost Hunter merch. The link is gonna be down below. Get it while you can, guys. I want you guys to have the Ghost Hunter merch. And I want you guys to live a little, so get it right now. And make sure to send me photos of you wearing the merchandise so I can give you guys shout outs in the video on the vlog channel. So I am upstairs right now and <laughs> I'm finding so many of these little balls everywhere. Looks like there was a jacuzzi. Oh, we got some birds. We got some birds. Oh, we got more birds. <laughs> so many more birds. We got these like, it looks like what was a jacuzzi here. Maybe like two of them, a tub and a jacuzzi over there. There's a balcony over here. More of these beautiful conch trees. This is no joke. I am surrounded by complete jungle overlooking the ocean over there. Just going through this hallway is the Oh my god, we got birds everywhere! <laughs> oh, those are bats! Those are bats, not birds! Whoa! We got these big, big bats! Hey, aren't you guys supposed to be sleeping? Go go back to bed. There's another one right there. These are not birds. Oh my god, that bat just pooped on me. <laughs> Holy shit! Yo, I just got attacked by bats in there, man. Guys, this whole mansion is infested with bats. Look at this. Holy shit. Wow. This must be what they've been eating, all these like little fruits over here, I think. Unless I, bats don't eat fruits, maybe they just eat insects. But there's bats everywhere. Risking my life through the bats once again, just to get you guys this one shot going through the hallway. So three, two, one, let's just walk right through it. Please don't bite me, Mr. Bats. Oh my God. Woo, okay, here we go. Whoa, there's so many of them. Look at this shot though. Wow, and it just drops right down. So cool, there's like bats everywhere. Whoa, 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 there's like a whole family of them. Whoa! <laughs> you ain't gonna get me. So as I was walking through that hallway, there's like snake skin everywhere. Like there's like so much snake skin and there's eggs actually, snake eggs. So there could be a whole horde of snakes here somewhere. This is a mission and I have to complete this. I gotta get to that side without getting Oh, no, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone. All right, there we go. We're on this side now. Wow, this is a beautiful. Whoa, what a beautiful thing, man. Look at this. Living a little on steroids on the island right now. I'm planning on spending the entire winter here with my wife and daughter. So if you guys want to see the vlogs that we're posting from this place, the link is going to be down below, the Sarji Family YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com slash the Sarji Family to watch those videos. Oh yeah, y'all better chill. Y'all better chill. I had told some local friends of mine that I found this place by accident. They told me about the dark and scary past this mansion had, and how so many young children suffered at the hands of an animal who is now rotting in prison. I was also tipped off by locals that there might be treasures hidden in the walls, so I decided to return at 2 a.m. to do some more investigating. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect to encounter what I found inside of this place at 2 o'clock in the morning. Guys, we're back here at nighttime to the abandoned oh, pedo mansion, is what I'm calling it. Don't know what to expect at nighttime, but we got some information that there could be some hidden. Oh my god, look at that cockroach. We got information that there could be some treasures hidden in the walls 
or somewhere within this house. So we're going to go and explore it. And in the middle of nighttime, it's like two o'clock in the morning right now. Oh man. Got my boy Ivan with me right now. Oh man. So in the daytime when we filmed, Ivan actually was here, but he stayed outside while I was exploring this. Um, he was on the lookout in case of security or cops or anyone. This place looks a million times scarier at nighttime. Holy moly. Oh, I'm being attacked by something. There's some dragonflies going after my light. So now that we've actually come across some information about this place, like a pedophile that was tied to Jeffrey Epstein, you know, apparently this mansion itself actually belonged to Jeffrey Epstein and this pedophile was living in it, which is crazy. We did not know any of this. And this place has recently got sold and it's gonna be torn down and renovated. Parts of it's gonna be torn down, parts of it's gonna be renovated. Now I'm told usually places like this, they do hide drugs or money in the walls. Honestly, this is kind of like a treasure hunt now because we're now looking for so much more than what we expected. Like this place, oh wow, freaking bat, get away from me. This bat just took a swing at me. What do you think, man? You think there's money in these walls? In the chimney? Actually, here, I'm gonna stick my camera through this chimney hole over here. All right, you guys let me know, is there anything in there? Whoa, that's a deep hole. Cool. I don't know if this is true, but we were told that there's like a hidden door somewhere. So we gotta find that hidden door. And within that hidden door is something, could be a treasure, could be money, could be God knows what, could be artifacts, we don't know. It could be behind a mirror, and that's why we decided to come back at nighttime. This seems solid. I wonder if there's anything over here. Solid as well. And they haven't stolen any of the wire. That's crazy. Yeah, he's got a good point. Usually people steal the wire, and they screw it up, and you have to rewire everything, which is really hard to do because it's all concrete. Especially out here. Oh shit, we got some beehives right there. More beehives over here. They're all sleeping in there. We gotta be careful. So we're trying to like actually do some treasure hunting right now. If you guys think you know where they might hide treasures in this place, look at that big butterfly over there. Let me know in the comments below. In case we do miss anything and we don't find anything, I don't know if we're gonna find anything or not, but we're certainly gonna try and search. Hopefully not get stung because there's spiders, there's Hornets everywhere. Look at that giant dead beetle over there. Holy moly. Ooh. I've never seen one this big before. Look at this, guys. Wow. This itself is a treasure. Oh my god. I found some treasure. Yeah. <laughs> that thing is huge. I've never seen one this big before. Man, that's a big bat. That bat is up to no good. Yeah, I'm gonna blind you with my light if you come at me. Bats hate light, by the way. Yeah, we do. I'm still trying to see if, if there's... I'll meet you up there. So you never know where they could be hiding stuff down here. It could be in the walls, it could be in the floors. At nighttime, it's actually really terrifying. In the daytime, it was just cool. I haven't been able to find anything. There is a chimney or a fireplace upstairs. And Ivan thinks that there might be something in there, hidden in there. Yeah. Where are you? What? Is that for real? Am I seeing this? Oh, what the hell? How the hell? No, you cannot make this up. There's a goat. There's a goat up here. There's a goat up here. What the hell? Yo, maybe somebody brought it up here for like a satanic ritual. It looks like some kind of ritual. Ooh, ooh. Um, yo, goat, my boy, just don't headbutt me, okay? What the heck are, is the odds of this? Dude, its eyes look weird. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> bro. Yeah, we will. We're, we're definitely gonna rescue a goat. We don't want no pedophile coming and doing anything bad to it. <laughs> well, 
Hey, Mr. Goat, how are you? Are you gonna headbutt me? I am not making this up. I just literally found a goat in this abandoned mansion. Hello. Do you think it's gonna try to headbutt me? Cause those guys have horns and they ram you, you know? So like, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be friendly or not. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up here. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Mr. Goat. Hello. Hi. How are you? I cannot believe this. I, can't, I cannot believe this. This is fucking creepy and cool at the same time. Hi. Oh. Oh, what? What the hell? Where'd it go? Oh, what the hell? Yo, I can climb? Nah, nah, don't jump. Don't do it, bro. Bro, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, man. I know a hotline you can call. 1-800? No, no no Alright, he went down the stairs. What the hell, dude? Is that crazy? You can't make this up. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hey, thank you. Oh, shit, it's coming back. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's ready to... Yo, I'm about ready to kick this goat in the face. Yo, we're just gonna block the stairs. Yo, he was ready to, to, to pound on us. Holy shit. What? Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. All right, good. We have rescued the ritual goat. Right? But how did he get here? <laughs> Damn, I, I mean, he... That was such a mystery, bro. I swear to God, I Exactly what I always hear about when they talk about voodoo. Yeah. And see that goat up here. Oh yeah. My God. You think it has something to do with voodoo? That for sure. It's like Bro. The first thing that comes into my mind. I mean, its eyes look freaking possessed. Right. right? I can still hear it. I still hear it down there. Man. So I'm kind of happy that we came back here at nighttime. All right. So there is a fireplace up here. Let's take a look inside. Any, any secret holes or compartments? Any money hidden anywhere? I don't see anything. I'm kind of worried this goat's gonna come back. So like me, I was walking on the edge here thinking I'm safe, but the homeboy can jump onto the ledge, like literally. You know what I mean, dude? Like that thing could just jump on ledges that high? Wow, welcome to the Dominican Republic, everybody. We're goats. Oh shit, we got bats. Oh no, 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 no. Hell no. Hell to the no, no, no. Hey, how about you guys evict? Like, it's nighttime. Shouldn't you be flying around somewhere? Besides here? We're trying to find some treasures in here. Man, my heart was beating because of that goat. Any more surprises? Any wild horses out here? All right, let's uh, take a look. Fucking oh, bats. I'm going to get a stick and start whacking bats. Let's take a look over here. Dude, this shit is slippery. If there's like any hidden compartment here somewhere. Oh, there's literally bats everywhere I look. This is one area over here that I didn't go through the, when I was here in the daytime the other day. We actually came here like three days ago. School off you bats. Go back to bed. This place is infested with animals. Freaking goats, bats, cockroaches, beetles. Be nice. I found some hidden treasures here. Maybe even behind this wall. This wall looks kind of shady. Nah, that's solid concrete, you guys. So far, we haven't found any treasures, but honestly, a goat in an abandoned house or a mansion, that's a first for me. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Like, that's, in my opinion, that's like more fun than finding money or something. Maybe by the bar section over there, there might be something there. So let's go down there and take a look. There's some like, Ritual writing scraped into the walls over there and over here. Holy shit. Actually, I didn't notice that There's like so much writing dude. There's like so much writing in the walls like ritual writing all over the walls Maybe that goat was supposed to be here for ritual purposes. Maybe we scared somebody off when we showed up All right guys gonna make my way back downstairs I haven't been successful in finding any physical treasures but Treasures worth memories. Oh my god. Look at that bat. It's looking directly at me these were supposed to be like little swimming pools up here in the bathroom. Oh, 
bathtub and a little jacuzzi. Huh? The goat's back. What'd you see? It was right here. The goat? Yeah, it was oh, oh, look at all the poop. That's fresh. That wasn't here earlier. Yeah, that's right. Fresh goat poop. I wonder if this goat is like here to protect something, if it's looking out for something. I'm down by the pool area right now trying to see if there's any hidden areas where money could be hidden by the bar. Oh, man, I really hope we do find a treasure in this place. Oh, there's gotta be something. Places like this, they hide stuff guys, especially in countries like this, especially before the cops show up. Honestly guys, I, I guarantee you that there is money hidden here somewhere. I'm on the outside of the building right now. It freaking looks terrifying in the daytime. It looked scary, but not like this. This is just beautiful. One of the coolest places I've ever been to. And not just because of the building, but because of that damn goat, which it's still trying to make its way back into the building for some reason. So I'm really hoping it does come back. Oh, what is this over here? There's like a staircase that I didn't see earlier. Everything is completely overgrown. There's really no more I can go through here. Let's go see if that goat made a comeback. Because if it did, that'd be beautiful. I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comments below to let me know if you think there could very well be something hidden in here. We did not find a thing besides a goat, which in my opinion is the coolest thing ever. I've never seen that in any abandoned location ever. That is a first for me, and that honestly, I will remember that forever because that was freaking awesome. All right, guys, we're gonna conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. What do we take from this adventure? Spontaneous adventures, things that get you out there, things that get you to live a little, sometimes give you the greatest entertainment ever, and I hope you guys are entertained, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did come back here late at night just to see if I can get more content, something even more epic than what we filmed in the daytime. And we did, that goat was freaking terrifying looking. I'm kind of scared to keep this camera on my face right now because I don't want it to sneak up on me. Ivan's already way out there, I'm here alone inside. Ending off this video, smash the hell out of that like button. Guys, a lot of you guys are subscribing but not turning on your notifications. Make sure to turn on notifications so you're notified every time I drop a banger. I do drop bangers almost every second day and almost every day on my second channel, the vlog channel, the Sarge Family Vlog channel. Don't forget, links for merch is down below. So get them while you can, get them while they're hot, and they are really hot. People are absolutely loving the new merch. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to be you, do you stay positive, and just live a little. I'll see you guys on the next adventure.